good evening everyone. I want to remind you about Sunday, uh, the 20th, now 20th years of the uh, Feast of uh, Pentecost is coming up. Uh, prepare yourself for that feast. It's not the rapture, but uh, it is a very important feast. It's a very important feast. I know many people are looking for for the 20th, but it's not going to occur on that day. Paul actually it states when it's going to happen. In actual fact, I got more than 10 video, uh, videos, more than that, even 12, 15 videos that explain that it is on Feast of Trumpets. And uh, there are much debate about the last trumpet and the seventh trumpet. And I'm going to deal with this tonight. I'm going to show you a short video clip about a watchman that I thought knows the word, but said to say that he uh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know the, about the feast days. Let me tell you: if each watchman or each believer in Christ knows about the feast days, or have a background about the feast days. There will be no squabble about which day it will be. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, that is the truth. Now, as I said, I thought this watchman ha uh, uh, know the, knows the word. And I saw this watchman going from 250 uh, 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 subscribers, and he's, uh, right now he stands at 12,800 uh, uh, subscribers in less than a month. I'm telling you, and that is just because of one particular post. I have shared some of his videos as well. Um, I'm not belittle or bringing this man down. I'm just sharing is that the error in the matter. Okay, and then afterwards I'm going to share uh, just Go over my notes, and then lastly, I'm going to share the scripture about the seventh trumpet. That they say the rapture happens on the seventh trumpet, and I'm going to prove them wrong. It's not at the seventh trumpet. Okay. During the, fe the, the feast of trumpets, the trumpet is blown a total of a hundred times. With the final horn on blast lasting much longer than the first 99 blast, this final blast pictures the trumpet sound which will announce the rapture of the church, which Paul mentioned in 1 Corinthians 15. And the actual fact, what Paul tells us that the rapture, this event, that, that when Jesus is coming will be during Feast of Trumpets. That is what he is saying. And in actual effect, Paul had an out-of-body experience and he was taken up to heaven. And he didn't say much about it. Uh, now, what I'm going to show you next is just quickly showing that uh, video clip of uh, this watchman. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you, uh, read through my notes. But we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. Which trumpet is it? It's the last trumpet. Not the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. It's the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed, for this corruptible must put on incorruption. Yeah. Now some people assume that the last trumpet mentioned in 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 52 is the same as the seventh trumpet in Revelation 11, 15. Now the last trumpet is the hundred trumpet, as I mentioned earlier, on the day of Feast of Trumpets, while the seventh trumpet is an angel's uh, trumpet, that's God's judgment poured out from the air. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to show you the word uh, in uh, uh, Revelation.
Revelation 8. And I'm going to show you that they actually wrong that the rapture does not happen at the seventh trumpet. They are not the same people. Let us look at the end time passage speaking of a trumpet. 1 Corinthians 15, uh, uh, 15, 51 to 52. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. This last trumpet is the hundredth sound of the trumpet. The last and the last, you see, it blows a hundred times, a hundred times, and the last one is the longest, and that is what Paul was talking about, and he says, in a twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for a trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. Let us be, first begin with some background on the Jewish practices of blowing the trumpet, and I'm going to include uh, a video with uh, many trumpets, with the use of uh, how they use many trumpets in the days of Israel. And I will include that video for you as well. The type of trumpet used in Rosh Hashanah is a ram's horn, a shofar that is blown during the feast, but the horn can also be called a trumpet. In fact, uh, Jews commonly called the vent the Feast of Trumpets for that reason. During the Feast of Trumpets is blown a total of a hundred times with a final horn blast lasting much longer than the first 99 blasts. This final blast pictures a trumpet sound which will announce the rapture of the church which Paul mentions in 1 Corinthians 15. The trumpet blast associates with the rapture is not to be confused with the trumpet judgment of uh, the uh, tribulation. Rather, it is associated with the final one of the, the Feast of Trumpets, people. Now, the Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, is a dress rehearsal every year for the rapture. It is not a date-setting, people. Feast of Trumpets is not a date-setting. It's a seventh month according to Leviticus 23, where Yeshua speaks to Moses and he said, Proclaim ye a solemn assembly. Yes, a solemn assembly. At, on, the, in the, on the seventh month, on the first day of the week, the first day of the week, which is a slither of the moon, not the full moon, people. The slither of the moon is the new moon. Now, I'm going to uh, Revelation uh, chapter 8, and about the seven trumpets from Revelation 6 verse 8. And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to show you something that it does. It's not the rapture. The rapture does not happen on the seventh trumpet. Revelation 8 verse 7, the first angel sounded. And then uh, 8, 8, the second angel sounded. And 8, 9, it's the third angel sounded. Uh, not doing the, the seven trumpet judgment, but I'm just showing you something. And then Revelation 8, verse 12, and the fourth angel sounded. And then finally, let's go to the next chapter, uh, the next one, that's in Revelation 9. Then the fifth angel sound in the Revelation 9. Yes, and then of course, uh, right below, is the sixth angel sounding, the Re Revelation 9, 13, and the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice of four horns of the golden altar, which is before God. Now, 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 the, let me tell you, the rapture happens between the sixth seal and the seventh, not the sixth seal, the seventh trumpet judgment, and the, um, uh, yes, 
this and the seventh seven trumpet judgment here it is uh, that's revelation 9 let's go further revelation 11 and this is where the two witnesses here it says here where they are raptured revelation uh, 11 12 and they heard a great voice from heaven saying come up hither that is when the mid tribulation rapture happens between the sixth trumpet judgment and the seven in actual fact it happened at the sixth trumpet judgment there is always a pause between the first to the sixth seal there is no event taking place at the seventh seal when it's open the seventh seal uh, reveals the this uh, the um, seven uh, the seven uh, trumpet judgment that is what it does and the mid tribulation uh, rapture happens uh, just after the sixth trumpet when the sixth trumpet is been blown by the angel that is when it happens and i'll show you now this is when it happens. And it's not only the two witnesses that goes up there. It's a death in Christ as well of the, those who were slain, beheaded, those people during the, during the uh, tribu tribulation. And now here is the seventh trumpet, long after they raptured, uh, are raptured. Yeah, so now here is the seventh trumpet. And the seven angels sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, you know what the seventh trumpet announced? The seventh trumpet announced the kingdoms of this world is becoming now the kingdoms of our Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And he shall reign forever and ever. That is what the seventh trumpet judgment happened. And uh, uh, as well, that's exactly where it happened. And the same with the, with the, with the bowls as well. The great, uh, let's go to the bowls there, this is 16, this is seven bowls. The seven bowls is only one at the last, at the seventh bowl. That is when the raven, the seventh bowl, this is when Christ, Jesus Christ returned. And the seventh bowl, and the seventh angel poured out his vial, and that's what happened. There's the greatest earthquake of all earthquake, and this is where Jesus returns. I'm sure, I'm telling you, this is where Jesus returns. And I'll show you a further scripture in the Bible uh, that, of course, is in Zechariah. And when uh, Jesus will gather, that's when Jesus returns. For I will gather all nations together against Jerusalem, and the city shall be taken. Yes, and this is where then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations and kill them. And this is where he returned at that great earthquake. And his feet shall stand in a day upon Mount Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall cleave this. Now it's with the earthquake that the, the Mount cleaves in two. It's with the great earthquake. And Jesus then stand on that uh, Mount Olives with his one foot on the one side and the other foot on the other side. Yes. It shall cleave in the midst thereof towards the east, towards the west, and there shall be a great valley, and half of the mountain shall be removed towards uh, 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 with the north, and half of it towards the east. You know. It's the greatest, greatest earthquake ever, ever would happen, happen. And all, and you shall, it, all the mountains shall flee away at that time. This is when that great earthquake happened. So you see that the seventh trumpet judgment, the seventh trumpet judgment, there's no rapture taking place. But in actual fact, it is when the kingdoms of God are being turned over to uh, Jesus Christ. So that is how I want to share with you the, fir the, the trumpet, the last trumpet is the 100 trumpet uh, uh, blasts and that's the loudest blast is the loudest blast and that is the blast that uh, Paul is referring to he's not referring to the seven trumpet judgment I 
just proved to you there now that on the seventh uh, trumpet there is no rapture. That rapture happens at the sixth trumpet, when the sixth are uh, just after the sixth trumpet judgment, not after the seventh trumpet judgment. Be blessed, everyone. Please subscribe, and I love you all. And praying for you.